I'm back at that site that uh, down on Royal Street and Princess Street, and uh, I was going to use a bliss tool, but <clears throat> my batteries were dead, so I'm taking the dais out again, and I want to try to dig any FE signal to see if I can get anything. So far, I've dug about four or five pieces of trash. I thought I saw something good. <laughs> this piece of aluminum. A button, but it was actually attacked. I just dug a stinking Lincoln. I just dug a stinking Lincoln. Yeah, I just dug a V nickel. Find anything worthwhile? That's got to be. Well, it looks like the, uh, the V nickel is 1897. Pretty cool. This is where I found the, uh, well, maybe 20 feet away, I found the uh, Barber Dime. There are two of them, actually. It's like a v, uh, not a V nickel, but a silver nickel. Can't see the front yet, but the uh, back's an S. And it was about four inches deep, about maybe 10 feet away from where I dug the V nickel. Pretty wild. There's where I dug the uh, uh, silver nickel. And I got the uh, V nickel over there. <laughs> I just got a got an 89 signal. Look inside that horse that uh, oyster shell. It's like a barber dime. Pretty cool. Hold on, I'll see if I can see. Yeah, it's an 1898. I don't know if it has a mint mark or not. I can clean it up when I get home. Leave it. I dug this bottle cap up, and then look what I got. I'm pretty sure it's a big real. It's got cob. see a 82 on it and I see a 89 or something on the bottom there good god that is wild I wonder if that's from the 1600s Oh my goodness. Just, I can't believe it. It's reading 90, it's reading 96 on the uh, dais. That was really unexpected. <laughs> I thought it was lead. It's kind of heavy. Either way, I got a flattened bullet. There's a hole for the, uh, and there's the one for, I just dug. It's down about, maybe about seven inches. And the uh, real is probably uh, maybe four inches at the most. You know, I, <laughs> this place is like a minefield now. I dug every single signal that even sounded good I mean even some that were iffy but uh, I'm still in shock this thing was shallower than some of the coins I dug in bullets today <laughs> but uh, I just talked to the uh, one of the developers and uh, they're gonna start moving dirt in about eight or nine days and He's gonna let me know so I can check the dirt. Here's what I got today. I uh, got a stinking Lincoln. Got a 1898 Barber. I mean, uh, 
nickel. Here's the V on it. Got a, uh, not sure what the date on it. It's still haven't been able to clean it off. But it's a um, S mint mark on a silver nickel. And then I got an 1898 Barber Dime. And I was real happy with that until I found this. <laughs> I also got this bullet. It's kind of flattened. But I'm still in shock. You can see the 82 there. If you look right there, it says 1682. This is a pillar and waves. You can see the two pillars. And then uh, you got the waves below it. I'm not sure the mint mark or how much this thing's worth, but I really don't care. <laughs> I just uh, finally broke the 1700s. This is considered pre-colonial. Uh, the oldest coins I've ever found are 1723, and then I got a, three uh, cut reals that are pistarines that are 1721. But uh, this is a heavy sucker too. I thought it was lead when I first dug it up, and then I saw it. This is what I first saw on the back, and I said, oh my God, it's got to be, a, you know, real. But uh, I'm still in shock. I think this says P, so that might be the mint mark there. But, uh, man, it is cool. It's been almost a year since I found a uh, I found a cut pistarine that was cut in half. It was a one real piece. That is so cool. All right, if you like my video, please subscribe.